Welcome back, everybody. Now, we are sharing one woman's harrowing experience with facial recognition software. Engineer Cher Scarlett noticed that Facebook's auto-tagging feature would often flag her in photos of other people, namely her mom or her daughter. So what started as a pretty innocent inquiry into online facial recognition tools, well, that turned into a nightmare. Once Cher discovered previously forgotten explicit images were actually out there online from her past. I didn't know that I, I, like I had really been the victim of a crime. Earlier this year, former Apple software engineer Cher Scarlett decided to check out PimEyes. It's a facial recognition website designed to help people figure out what photos of themselves are on the internet. Plans start at just $29.99 a month. PimEyes does not take images from social media, but rather sources content from company websites, media, and pornography sites. The last resource is included to help users determine if explicit images of themselves are being shared online without their consent, otherwise known as revenge porn. So I go to PimEyes, which is, you know, supposedly the best of the best, the best at finding all images, you know, super creepy based on all of these articles about it. And I put my picture in there and I'm scrolling. I get to the potentially explicit results and I'm looking at them. And my immediate thought is that my face has been photoshopped into pornography. But that wasn't the case. The images Cher was looking at were still frames from a pornography audition she went on in 2005, when she was just 19 years old. She had no recollection of what transpired that day, having repressed the traumatic events, but seeing the images triggered her memory. I said no to things. I didn't consent to things. And I'm remembering now one of the things that occurred. I knew that I had done this thing when I was 19 and this thing happened, but the photos had never surfaced. So in my mind, I thought, okay, this never got released. And at this point, I don't understand that what has happened to me qualifies as sex trafficking. PimEyes is just an aggregator, so they directed Cher to the source of the explicit material. The poster is refusing to take them down, so those images still exist in PimEyes database. To hide them, Cher had to upgrade her PimEyes plan to the $300 per month option, an expense she cannot keep up with. There's no way to flag for abuse. The only thing there is is to uh, pay to hide them, which I was doing, but I can't can't afford that. There's literally nothing I can do unless I pay $300 a month, which is extortion. Cher takes issue with a core tenant of PimEyes' mission, that people will only search for photos of themselves. Right now, there is no security in place to enforce this rule. I think that you should have to opt in. You know, I mean, they're, they're basically relying on the Good Samaritan, the fact that I don't want to search for anybody else. I'm only going to search for myself. Like, you're not enforcing that. Enforce it. Make me prove that I'm myself before I pay to search for myself. PimEyes says it's updating its website to make opting out of search results easier. The company has refunded share for one $300 monthly payment, but has not indicated that they will do so again if she continues her subscription.